Hey guys, and welcome to Super Sound Showcase. I am Tim, I am also a shark. Uh, this is our Halloween episode, and today we have Amy. Hello. All right, so Amy, uh, tell us a little bit about your you know, music style and uh, what you're gonna be showing today. Well, my music style mostly is uh, just real. I write um, pretty much everything. Uh, I can write anything. I don't. I don't usually write everything, <laughs> but I. Um, I really just use my my songs as a diary. So, anytime any anything would go wrong, for the most part, I would um, go in my room and, and basically just write down whatever my emotions were. And um, so I, I write lots of alternative. Um, indie style i've written country i've written pop so um i kind of just use it as a as a great outlet for any emotion <laughs> that is there i try to uh, write songs that people will be able to relate to and they don't feel like they're alone in in life oh well that's very cool Thank all right <laughs> so how long have you actually been playing music I have been playing music probably since I was like nine or ten. I've been writing my own songs since I was about, uh, well, I don't even know. I've, I've always been writing songs, so it's kind of, I would always write whatever. My brother would get irritated and yell at my mom and tell her to, to, to <laughs> tell me to stop singing nonsense and <laughs> writing it. So for as long as I can remember, I've been, I've been writing. But I started taking piano lessons when I was about nine or 10. And then when I was 12, my grandma bought me my first guitar. So I started, you know, banging on that thing. <laughs> Very cool. So mm -hmm. where, where do you get a lot of your influences from? Because I know a lot of people, you know, they go back into the old country stuff, the old blues stuff, yeah. which is very cool, but everybody has their own sort of, uh, you know, way about it. Right. Well, I've been uh, super into all different genres of music, literally all of them. I range from gospel or classical all the way to like hardcore metal. So it basically depends on the song that I write. So I have a song called Too Late and it's on, um, it's actually on YouTube and iTunes and Amazon and all of the music outlets that you can purchase from. I recorded it professionally in Nashville. That was written um, in the inspiration of Miranda Lambert's uh, songs, <laughs> The Gunpowder and Lead. So, um, so usually it's that, but a song that I'm gonna be singing today is called Mother, and so I'm assuming you know where I got the inspiration for that one. My dad, <laughs> obviously, <laughs> no, <laughs> my mom. And um, it's really cool that um, a lot of the lyrics in that song are, song are words that she said to me throughout my adolescence. So, uh, but mostly my inspiration is just writing my feelings down and um, trying to uh, put music to the words that are in my diary. All right. You said you recorded in Nashville, which mm -hmm. is very cool. Yeah, um, it was awesome. Any plans on going back and finishing up? I would love to. I have so many songs. I can't even count how many songs that I want to be able to record. Uh, the problem is that you know it costs quite a bit of capital. Dinero. Absolutely. <laughs> yep. So recording time is not cheap. <laughs> yes. No. I recorded three though while I was in Nashville. So I recorded Too Late, which is a country kind of rock-ish. It was meant to be more rock, but when you record in Nashville, the producers kind of, you Massage know, alter it. the songs mm -hmm. just a little bit to get it to fit in with the more with the Nashville crowd. Um, the second song I recorded was "Daddy's Here," which is inspired by my mom, <laughs> my <laughs> father, and that's his favorite song ever. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and um, and then I also did "Lost," which was written for my husband when we first started dating. It sounds like your family is a really big inspiration for you. Yes, they definitely are. They were my parents are just phenomenal. I've always had a really great family uh, around me and supporting me and loving me and. Uh, hoping the best for me and so it's been really I'm, I'm really blessed yeah to have that. all right and can you tell us a little bit about the songs you're gonna be playing today you did yes. a little bit but yeah well okay well definitely so one of the ones that I mentioned prior was mother and so obviously I wrote it about my mom I wrote it when I was I think uh, 18 or 19 
and uh, it was Mother's Day, and so I surprised my mom <laughs> for uh, Sunday morning church, <laughs> and um, the thing was that some people had asked me, okay, Amy, we want you to sing a song for Mother's Day service or whatever, and I said, okay, and so my mom was checking up on me and making sure <laughs> that I was supposed to be preparing something for Sunday and she kept asking me throughout the weeks she was like have you been have you been working on something and I'm like no I don't I (laughs) nope haven't been I haven't even practiced and she was all upset with me and so then when Sunday came and went I uh, (laughs) surprised her and I got her um, just it was it was just such a great experience Um, But, yeah, like I said, most of the lyrics in that are things that she had already spoken to me throughout um, middle school and high school and um, her just always being there and always uh, comforting me whenever uh, I couldn't fit in or um, I got bullied a little bit. And so she, you know how moms always are, we're like, well, you're you're beautiful, you know, like, Mm. don't listen to them. Um, so she, she was, uh, just so important and I was just blessed with such an amazing mom, um, that I wrote that for her and she loves it. That's her favorite song. (laughs) Big surprise. And then the other one, I was really torn between two songs. I actually had my friends vote on (laughs) which songs I should do. And the one that broke the tie was, um, Paper Therapy. Paper therapy really explains why I do what I do. Um, Paper therapy, just from the name, you can kind of gather that writing my songs are therapeutic. So for whatever I've gone through, and I've gone through quite a bit, um, writing my songs has been that outlet and has helped me extremely. And so a lot of the the words in that in that song are just very real, very mm-hmm. raw, um, but that's how I feel. It's my it's true, honest. deep emotions, yeah, and uh, and it talks about how that's just how I gotten through everything throughout throughout my life. All right. So I'm really well, excited. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So, guys, when we come back, uh, we're going to be putting all of this obviously online as a YouTube video, but. Mm-hmm. Uh, check the description because we're going to be adding all of her links and her SoundCloud and all of the other outlets that she has. Uh, she's also, again, uh, maybe a little bit late, but she's definitely playing out around town. So uh, we'll add a, uh, a link to the uh, calendar as well. All right, we'll be back in a minute. Hey guys, and welcome back to Super Sound Showcase. I am Tim. I'm also a shark right now. Uh, we have Amy here in the studio. Uh, so tell us a little bit about the uh, the music you're going to be playing today. Well, this first song that I'm going to be singing is Mother. And uh, it's about my mom and just how awesome she is and how she's always been there for me, no matter what I've faced in my life. Um, And it's really cool because a lot of the lyrics are things that she actually said to me. (laughs) So a little fun fact for everybody. (laughs) All right. Well, looking forward to it. Thank you. Mama, they talk about me. I can hear them laughing. Yeah. 
peace in my heart You're worth so much more than you think you are But I've known it right from the start Well, some might say that I'm biased But a daughter always tells the truth I wouldn't change anything Anything at all I love my mother I do I love you Mama I do Wow Alright That was really great Thank you Yeah I'm, I'm sure your mom was really proud of that. Oh, she cried. Oh, I'm sure. <laughs> when when you get someone to cry happy tears, it's just like, yes, I did it. <laughs> yes, I made someone cry. <laughs> I, I know, <laughs> but you touched that person, and they were so happy and brought to emotion. I just love that feeling. Oh, nice. <laughs> yeah, that was great. <laughs> Thank you. All right, so what's up next? The next song I got for you guys. I didn't understand that. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody's talking to somebody. This is on Do Not Disturb and Silent, just so that everybody knows. I'm the type of friend that everyone leans on. But deep down inside, I had all my problems. Push comes to shove and I can't take the pain anymore Out of all of those friends I call 